Hey, this is Lance with Infotainment News. Today we're going to talk about something that's not that exciting usually, but I wanted to follow up on a review that has been outstanding for a while. I did a very long-term review. It's taken about a year plus for me to come back and talk about this case. Yes, it's an iPhone case. And we'll get into the details here over the next few slides. So this case is made by Woodchuck. And as you can see by their logo, they're made in the USA. Yeah, they make not only iPhone cases, but all kinds of different covers for various different types of electronics. You got Beats by Dre, Galaxy versions, you've got iPhones, you got some cufflinks they can make for you, Kindle Fires, MacBooks, all kinds of different things. In particular, though, I have a iPhone 5S and had a custom case made for it. What I had to make was a collage with five different comic book characters. We got Rain Sinclair, Peter Parker, uh, Betsy Braddock, Kitty Pride, and Storm. Uh, I have a dime on here to sh kind of show you scale, what the size of the graphic looked like. Basically, I sent in a, an image, and then they engraved it on the back of this phone. I have a few different close-ups, so you can kind of see uh, what the wood looks like on the back. Here's an extreme close-up of Psylocke. Down at the bottom, they were sure to include their logo, which is understandable. Another close-up of Psylocke next to the dime, just to, again, give you a sense of scale. Here it is from the side, so you can kind of see the, the smoothness of the, of the wood itself. These first few photos were right after I got it, before I really used it and put it through its paces. The next few photos are going to be from now, again, over a year later. So these next few shots are from now, today. And I I got to say, it's held up extremely well over time. I have my phone with me all the time. I've dropped it many times, sometimes from a height of three and a half feet, maybe. So we're not talking extreme drops, but definitely for a case that is supposed to protect the phone and look good, it's done its job. The coloring hasn't faded. It, it looks really nice. Um, the only issues I ever had were f in the beginning where um, the wood would stick just a little bit to certain materials, but it, it was never that bad and never caused any snags. And here's another photo from the other side, again, just kind of showing that it's held up really well over time. And here's the only issue. After several drops, the corner of the upper left side has a little bit of a crack in it. Um, it still holds the phone snugly, but uh, every now and then I'll snag a, a thread or something. But again, compared to other cases I've had, uh, this is this has held up really well. One of my big concerns was that over time the glue or whatever is used to hold the wood onto the plastic would come apart, and that the um, you know would would delaminate or somehow just fall apart in general, and it hasn't. Even after being dropped, after being um, taken off the phone and put back on several times and you know tweaked a little bit here and there, a little bit of a bend to it, um, nothing has caused any of the materials to come apart. So uh, definitely well worth the price. So if you're in the market for a custom case for your phone or tablet or whatever, Take a look at the guys over at woodchuckusa.com. It's a quality product that lasts a long time, and the price is pretty good. So you got a custom wood case for $49.99 plus $20 for the custom etching. Um, I think it's great, and it looks good. Thank you. This was Lance for infotainmentnews.net.